On November 10th of last year, the Sheriff's Office took a call about a welfare check needed in the 900 block of Brandon Road in Colleen. Several complaints had come in that 75-year-old Walter Hopkins had been threatening neighbors and the mailman. The deputies went to check it out and check on Hopkins. He met them at the door with a knife. Here's body cam video from that day. RPSO has blurred Hopkins' face. I need to talk to you. Backup arrived and the deputies brought in one of Hopkins' relatives to help calm him down and coax him out of the house for questioning. Junior, won't you come out and talk to him? But it wasn't working, so they pushed open the door. As you can see in the video, that's when Hopkins tried to attack them with the weapon. One deputy took out his taser, and as he pulled the trigger, Hopkins pulled out a cup filled with gasoline. Hopkins caught fire. So did two of the deputies. In this shot, one of them reaches for what they believed was a bucket of water. It wasn't. It was more gas. Somehow, they managed to get Hopkins and themselves extinguished. But the fire spread throughout the house, leaving it a total loss. Hopkins was sent for treatment for his burns and later for mental treatment, according to the state fire marshal's office. And they stepped in to investigate. The fire marshal charged Hopkins with attempted first degree murder, resisting an officer, attempted battery and hate crimes. And on April 26th of this year, his case was sent to a Rapids Parish grand jury for consideration. That's where things took a surprising turn. The jury chose not to indict Hopkins, but instead indicted the two deputies who responded to the scene for negligent injury. District Attorney Philip Terrell believes that the grand jury thought that the deputies shouldn't have used the taser. But he said he couldn't prosecute a case like that because it was clear the evidence showed that they were trying to help Hopkins get mental help before he turned the knife on them. When that happened, we looked very closely at it because the deputies weren't the target. Wanton conduct to rises negligence to such an extent that it shocks the conscience of the average person. That's not the case here. The indictment was immediately sealed while the DA's office tried to figure out what happened. Last week, the seal was lifted and the DA's office threw out the indictment. First of all, we couldn't prove the case. Secondly, these are good officers out there trying to do what they were supposed to do. The district attorney says it was a move they knew was the right one to make. No, the district attorney has the discretion to prosecute or not prosecute any case. And, and our job is not to convict people, our, do, our job is to do justice.